hello 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 virgo what's up how are you guys welcome back to my channel divine and gifted i am shay hi i'm here to do the second half of september for you guys oh my gosh you guys were the top two video i just want to say thank you so much everyone for tuning in for subscribing all that if you're new here fucking welcome hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can know when i upload okay um but yeah, this will be for our Virgos second half of September. Let's pray a sin real quick, why don't we? Spirit, what messages do you have for our Virgos? Working in their highest good for their highest favor. Asking for messages for unconditional love, light, healing, clarity, truth, and understanding. Also asking for high vibrational messages, please and thank you. That is in full and complete alignment with their soul's growth and their highest good. Okay. Please, Spirit, let me know what they need to know, why they need to know, how they need to know it. Current energy, please, and thank you. I greatly appreciate it. So, with that being said, let's um, pull you an ancestor message. Uh, spirit guide, what's so happy? Let's see, what, let's see what your guides want you to know for the first half of September. Soul power. Remember who you are. Virgo, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember that you are not what you've been through. You are where you're going. You are who you affirm you to be. You are you are stepping into your power, this soul power. Okay. Always remember your soul. You're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling dry, if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling by yourself, tap into you. Tap into who you are. Ask your divine for support. Ask the divine for support. Ask your spirit team for support. Ask your spirit team for guidance. Get into the asking. Okay. Make it a thing. Make it regular. Okay. Sometimes we forget to ask. Sometimes we just be struggling and don't ask for um lighter situations. And and then when we ask for lighter situations, sometimes we get so caught up and consumed in our thoughts and our head on worrying and stressing and stuff like that that exactly what we just asked for we pushed away because we don't believe that it's going to happen when it's going to happen okay so understand that if you're going through you know whatever rich path whatever rich rough patch it is that you're going through know that you have everything that you need within you to manifest and create change all you have to do is believe in you enough okay look and then support is here at the bottom of the deck spirit is that basically whatever it is you're trying to manifest whatever it is you're trying to do go after start they support you fully. You are supported. You're protected. Your vision, your dreams, it's all, it's all, it's all protected. Okay. <clears throat> Let's pull an angel answer. Let's pull an angel answer for our Virgos, second half of September. It says, believe. Okay. It says, be open to all the possibilities and opportunities. Let go of the preconceived ideas. There is nothing to fear. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself and trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound. Provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. Believe all is possible. This last, this last little, your soul is the true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. And then this last little wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound. Provide, provided you are flexible and retain an open heart and mind. Hello? Spirit is basically saying don't close don't get closed off because it's it because you 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 lose inside of the light. You 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 in the midst of the tunnel and you can't really see. Right now you're going within so you can shed a light on all the dark spaces. Okay, right now you're feeling lonely and by yourself because you need to be alone and by yourself so you can hear properly. Right now you <clears throat> Right now, you may need to cleanse your body. I mean, you might need to go on an energy fast or energy fast on, a, on some type of fast, intermittent fasting or some, or something like that. Some of you guys need to increase your water intake. Some of you guys are really needing to sit with your sit with yourself in silence and, and, and really get in tune with your intuition. Okay, and and and, and getting in tune and asking what steps do I need to take? What steps do I need to take? Because right now believe all is possible is right here okay so don't get discouraged do not get discouraged okay believe all is possible 
let's look into see some things that you need to surrender to what is one thing that our virgos need to surrender to current energy please second half of september september second half of september rest of september and we have surrender to effortlessness right here it says stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river go with the flow instead of trying to force the river right now you're you were you are putting so much you're doing so much you're working so hard you're trying to pull everything together and right now you got the weight of the world on your shoulders and you need to drop the weight right now you're working entirely too 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 hard and you like oh well if i don't do it it's not gonna get done and spirit said i guarantee you it will because you've already planted the seeds now it's just time for you to water and nurture okay bottom of the deck it's play to surrender, okay? This play to surrender, surrender is play to surrender, Lord. Surrender to play is basically saying, get out, go enjoy life, go enjoy the moments. You're working so hard, you're not even enjoying what you're doing because you're too focused, okay? Take a break from overthinking a goal, do something fun. Play is a time of reaction, recreation, recreation and rejuvenation okay surrender your idea you can fix someone you can't fix anybody but yourself okay you 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 may want somebody to you may see the potential in someone else but they're never going to reach the potential that you see in them because it's, just, it's something that they have to see for themselves okay so i know you want to everybody to be on board and everybody to win and everybody to come up but right now this is a you season baby and you can't waste your time believing in other people when you're not believing in yourself okay <clears throat> i said what i said and i'm not trying to you know be all harsh but that's that's the reality of the situation okay so so this is a thing it's a thing I already got cars dropping on the floor. Low it. Let's see. So, spirit, what messages do you have for our Virgos? Please. Second half of September. What is their current energy? What's going on in their energy? What's their current energy? So we have the seven of swords self-sabotage behavior um i also feel like keeping your plans to yourself this is the time of strategizing okay you know where you at on your journey if you've been all in your head overthinking and stressing about a situation yes you are in self-sabotage energy and right now every seed that you've planted you're going to uproot with your mind you're going to uproot because you're you're worried and overthinking a situation that's already taken care of by the divine spirit is just asking you to be very patient at this time now others of you you guys have been like Oh, I've been doing the work and I've been doing this girl I got this going uh -uh. you're giving too much information away people are trying to figure out how they can monopolize off of your success okay okay you need to figure out how to monopolize off of your success you ain't even got there yet so keeping your keeping keeping it tight sitting on top of some things for others of you guys I feel like the seven of swords is you running away from your problems okay take this how it resonates it's gonna be thousands of y'all watching it's gonna resonate differently with everybody but what your current energy is you could be having to do something you've been putting off a plan you <clears throat> look it's something going on with your throat chakra okay um or you need to speak up you need to say something you need to open up you need to express it's something here but you guys have been lying to yourself you guys have been 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 really in this energy of well, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. You're happy with how something is going, but you you got to go back. You got to go back and readdress some things. You have to go back and readdress some things because there was a decision or there was something that you were supposed to do that you did not. You chose a different route in that direction and you put that on the back burner. You never went back to it and spirit is trying to call you out on your shit. Okay? So, what better way than spirit to call you out? Okay, don't make spirit sit your ass down. Don't do that. You got one, two, three. This is four swords here, five here. Look, 
there's something about communication. Look, I'm telling you, this sword is down. Horse, her sword is down. A again, this is basically saying... <clears throat> For some of you guys, whatever it is that you're getting, whatever downloads that you were receiving, whatever information, whatever good news or whatever it is that you're getting because you finally know what it is that you want. Some of you guys need to keep this on this. You need to keep this on a hold. Others of you guys, you guys need to go within. OK, this is why this is on her back. This is something that you've been putting off for a while. You haven't been as spiritual as you needed to or you, you haven't really been doing the work or it's something like that. I don't know what you've been doing here with this four of swords, but you've been neglecting your youth time and in and, 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 and your connection with spirit. And this is something that you've been running away from. That's why the two of swords is there. You have not been addressing this. OK, now. I just want you to know Chris Brown looks so creepy just a minute ago. This is Chris Brown, y'all. He looks so creepy. He looked so creepy just a minute ago. I almost jumped out of my skin. I was like, what the hell is that? But I forgot I had a shirt on with a face. Okay. I just heard a beeper go off. I was like, beep, beep, beep. So this is an alarm. Like something is alarm. Like it's a wake up call. Wake up call, Virgo. Whoever you are, wherever you are watching this, about to be thousands of y'all watching this. So take it how it resonates. Whatever you get from this reading, you take it and you run with it. Okay. Listen. Um, what's the main blockage for our Virgo Virgos? Whoa, the main blockage is moving forward. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Mm -mm. The main blockage is taking action. The main blockage is, 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 is that, that willpower, that drive that you have, it, it is being blocked right now. It's being blocked by what? The truth? Because this is the moon here, but the moon is in reverse. So... Give me one more. Why is it on here? The main blockage here is taking action. The main blockage here is moving forward. The main blockage is doing what you need to do. Maybe your car, maybe it's time for you to get a car or maybe there's something about your car going on um, with this chariot here or it's something like that. I don't know. It doesn't, this doesn't look like anything negative. This could just be time for a new car out with the old and with the new kind of energy here. Now, also for the main blockage for a lot of you guys is that you guys receive some type of heartbreaking news information or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> Or this could just be you really facing how you really feel. You're really addressing um, your shadow aspects on where the pain really lies or where it starts. And that is something that you need to go and address so you can be able to move freely. And when you move forward, you'll be able to move forward freely. Okay. If not, this is going to haunt you. This is going to come back. It's going to show up in everything, in each and everything that you're doing. Okay. So be very careful here, especially when it comes to you recognizing your own truth and seeing you for who you truly are and where you are truly hurt. Okay. <clears throat> now, others of you guys, yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm getting from there. Okay. Um, let's see. What action should you be taking currently? What kind of action should you be taking? Four of Wands in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Obviously, that wanted to come out. Now. Yeah. This is the seven of pentacles. This one is to come out. The seven of pentacles with the action that you should be taking. What are you doing with your time? How is your time management skills? How, how have you been with your time management? The second half of September is really trying to get you to focus on your timing of things or where you're giving your energy to, where you're giving your time to with the seven of pentacles. Also, if you're waiting for money to come in, be patient. It's coming. It may come within the next seven days or something like that, or it may take a couple of weeks, okay? Um, but the, it's, it's on its way to you, okay? If you're waiting for some money, it's coming. Um, now for what action should you be taking? You, again, a spirit is trying to get you to see where you are 
not feeling very secure, okay? And this four of swords, I mean, this this four, this four of wands to the six of pentacles in reverse, with both of these coming out in reverse, this is basically saying that you want victory and success with the six of wands to the eight of wands. You want your next, you want, you want pure bliss and you want happiness but what are you doing in the meantime in between time to receive this the four of wands and the six of pentacles in reverse spirit can't gift you something if you if you if you're still struggling with trying to figure out what, about time management skills if you're still struggling in and 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 being impatient okay um I also feel like for some of you guys, this four of wands here to the six of pentacles, there is something that you're giving your time and energy to that is that is making you temporarily happy. Okay, so be very careful there. It's something that it's like it's not I don't want to sound I don't want it to sound like that, but it's like it's only fulfilling you on the outside in the 3D realm. Okay, and that's why the six of pentacles is here. This is like you're giving your energy away, but you're not replacing it with anything. So in a couple of weeks or in a couple of days, when you get into that drawn out energy to where you're feeling down, you're questioning yourself. This is because you're giving your energy away to something that is only satisfying on a surface level. Okay, so I'm just throwing that out there. Now, what does spirit want you to know? What does the divine want you to know, Virgo, for the second half of September? So we have the Nine of Wands. You've been working too hard. All work, no play. You, you're going to drive yourself fucking crazy. Some of you guys have a decision that you need to make. Some of you guys need to take action. And you guys... Some of you guys need to cut off something or someone, something that you're doing that's making you feel burnt out you're on the verge of a burnout oh you're feeling very overwhelmed you're feeling very stressed and this is because like i said you're giving your energy away to something that's only fulfilling you in a specific area and once you really like open up your eyes and see like i need more you get me so it's like this two of swords is like you know what you need to do to relieve your relieve some stress but you have been running away from this. You've been fearing this because of that, the, the moon, the moon reverse to the three of swords. You still haven't quite accepted the truth that you need to accept when it comes to your own emotional blockages, your own things that cause you pain. So in turn, you come off very harsh and aggressive sometimes, or you come off, it's like, this is passive aggressive energy. Um, oh, I know what I want. Oh, I don't know. I want you wait to the last minute to say something. And then when you do something, say something, you're going off, you blowing up because you're stressed, you're overworked, you've had enough, you're tired, you're worn out. Okay, that's neither here nor there. Spirit wants you to know that it's time for you to really take action. And it's time. Look, look how these cards are coming out. Let, let me let, let's just let's just take a moment to look how these cards is coming out. This nine of wands, this two of swords. You're struggling, going back and forth in your, high, your head, being very indecisive, not being very clear on what you want, struggling with making some type of decision, choosing a path, going in another direction, choosing something new, choosing someone new, take it how it resonates. And this king, of, this knight of swords is, is spirit telling you that this is the shit that you need to address. You need to come in here and you need to be very bold and direct and, 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 and use your discernment here and, and really... Stop weighing out your options. The options is already there. It's either you're gonna do it or you're not. If it's not a if it's not an absolute yes, then it's a no. Period. Okay. And that's what spirit wants you to know. That it's time for you to really start cutting out the things that's really stressing you the fuck out. That really has you bugging out. That really has you questioning. If it leaves you with a question mark, then right now it's just not for you. Okay. Now let's put best advice. Best advice for our Virgo. I hope not. Okay, we got stuck in the mud. Stuck in the mud, number 24. What's at the bottom here? Coming apart, look. Powerful card. This is this a completion too. Oh, look, damn. Rock bottom. Damn. 10, 10. 46 and 10. Okay. 
listen. Um, let's look real quick at this number 24. So we do have stuck in the mud. Look at the elephant. Um, you're being invited to stop and savor the, the wonder of your life. Becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you are doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you to even muddier places. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking soon you'll be out of the mud but for now be still and know that spirit has a plan for you so virgo if you're feeling stuck in the mud spirit really wants you to believe and spirit wants you to really know who where your power lies i am going to go to number 46 to this coming apart it says the coming apart card is a sign to put an end to what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken? Perhaps you need a break. A, perhaps you need to break a promise or change your course because you took on more than you could handle. This is the perfect time to reassess your goals and values. Are your actions in alignment with what you believe in? Have you created a partnership that is not mutually beneficial? Separation, dissolution, and, dis and dispersion are all in focus now if someone wishes to break from you don't chase the relationship out of a sense of fear the price you will pay the price you'll pay will not be worth the price separation brings good fortune separation brings good fortune damn that's deep separation brings good fortune separation brings good fortune say it with me separation brings good fortune okay so i'm gonna leave you guys there I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I'll tap on with you guys later. Hit the thumbs up button. Bye, loves.